Have you ever stopped to wonder if there are underlying principles that govern the universe? You may have felt it, but couldn't quite understand what they were or how they operated. For thousands of years, mystics and philosophers have pondered this question and found uniting answers. One ancient philosophy, Hermeticism, offers a fascinating set of principles that can change how you see the world. We're talking about the seven Hermetic Laws. Now these aren't just dusty old rules. They're potent concepts that can be applied to everyday life to help us manifest our desires, elevate our consciousness, and live more fulfilling lives. Sounds interesting? Stay tuned because we're about to explore the wisdom of Hermes Trismegistus, a legendary figure believed to embody knowledge and wisdom. Hermeticism is based on the teachings attributed to Hermes Trismegistus, a mythical figure who is considered a blend of the Greek god, Hermes, and the Egyptian god, Thoth. Hermes Trismegistus is often depicted as a sage who possesses profound wisdom about the nature of the universe and the human soul. His teachings are said to have been recorded in the Corpus Hermeticum and the Emerald Tablet. They are collections of texts that form the foundation of Hermetic philosophy. These works were revered in the ancient world and later rediscovered during the Renaissance, sparking renewed interest in Hermetic philosophy. Influential thinkers such as Marsilio Ficino and Giovanni Pico della Mirandola studied and translated these texts, integrating their wisdom into the broader currents of Renaissance thought. During the Renaissance, Hermeticism profoundly influenced the development of Western esotericism, including alchemy, astrology, and magic. It also intersected with the emerging scientific revolution, with figures like Isaac Newton drawing inspiration from Hermetic principles in their quest to understand the natural world. In the 19th and 20th centuries, Hermeticism experienced a revival through the works of esoteric orders such as the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn and Theosophical Society. These organizations sought to preserve and propagate Hermetic wisdom by blending it with other mystical and spiritual traditions. Hermeticism continues to inspire modern spiritual seekers and philosophers. Its principles offer wisdom that can be applied to personal development, spiritual growth, and a deeper understanding of the universe. Today, there is a core set of ideas that bind Hermeticism together. These ideas are like universal laws, and they hold the potential to transform the way you see the world and your place in it. These teachings have been revered for centuries, influencing countless thinkers, philosophers, and spiritual seekers. Central to Hermeticism are the Seven Hermetic Laws, also known as the Seven Principles of Hermeticism, which serve as the foundation for understanding the metaphysical workings of the universe. By exploring these principles, we can gain insights into the nature of reality, consciousness, and our personal growth. Now let's crack open this ancient wisdom and see its secrets. The first hermetic law is the law of mentalism, which posits that the all is mind, the universe is mental. This law blows the lid right off the concept of reality. It essentially states that the universe is a mental projection, a giant thought experiment. Everything that exists started as a thought. It's like the ultimate cosmic brainstorm. This principle suggests that we have the power to shape our reality through the focused power of our minds. Everything we perceive as reality is a creation of the mind. Our thoughts shape our experiences and the world around us. Imagine your mind as a powerful projector, creating your reality. This idea aligns with modern understandings of the power of positive thinking and manifestation. When we change our thoughts, we can change our reality. Think about it. The power to transform your life lies within your mind. This principle encourages us to harness our mental power, visualize our goals, and believe in our ability to create our desired life. 
the principle of mentalism is the foundation upon which all other hermetic laws rest. It's a mind-blowing concept that suggests the universe is a mental projection, a giant thought experiment. Think of this as a sculptor working with a block of marble. The final statue begins as an idea in the sculptor's mind. With each chisel and strike, the sculptor's vision takes physical form. Similarly, our thoughts are the tools we carve out our reality. Just as the sculptor's intent and precision are crucial to creating a masterpiece, so are our thoughts and focus, which are essential in shaping our lives. If the sculptor is careless, the statue will be flawed. If our thoughts are negative or unfocused, our reality will reflect that chaos and negativity. The second principle, the law of correspondence, says, as above, so below, as below, so above. This principle emphasizes the interconnectedness of all things. It suggests that what happens within our minds, the inner world, is reflected in the external world. It's all interconnected. The patterns and laws that govern the macrocosm, the universe, also apply to the microcosm, the individual. Consider the intricate designs of a snowflake and the vast structure of galaxies. Both reflect similar patterns. This principle teaches us that by understanding the universe's workings, we can understand ourselves and vice versa. It encourages us to look for the parallels between the outer world and our inner experiences. By doing so, we can find harmony and balance, realizing that we are a reflection of the cosmos. Hermeticism acknowledges different planes of existence. The physical plane is the world we can perceive with our senses. Beyond that lies the mental plane, the realm of thoughts, ideas and beliefs. And even further lies the spiritual plane, the source of pure energy and consciousness. The correspondence principle suggests that these planes are not separate, but rather interconnected layers of reality. The principle extends beyond the physical world. It indicates that our actions in the physical realm have consequences on the unseen planes of existence. Kind and compassionate actions contribute to a more positive collective energy field, while negativity and harmful actions create a ripple effect of discord. Ultimately, the principle of correspondence is a call for harmony. It reminds us that we are not separate from the universe, but intricately woven into its fabric. By cultivating a sense of balance and alignment within ourselves, we contribute to a more harmonious and balanced universe. This principle is not a rigid doctrine, but a framework for exploration. As we delve deeper into Hermeticism, you'll discover countless ways to explore the connections between your inner and outer worlds. It's a journey of self-discovery and a powerful tool for creating a more fulfilling and meaningful life. The third hermetic law is the law of vibration, which asserts nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates. This one gets pretty groovy. It states that everything in the universe vibrates at a specific frequency, from physical objects to our thoughts and emotions. Feeling down and negative, we vibrate at a lower frequency, but when we're optimistic and joyful, we vibrate more frequently. The idea is to raise our vibration to attract what we desire. At the most fundamental level, everything in the universe is in constant motion, vibrating at different frequencies. This principle is supported by modern science, which shows that atoms and subatomic particles are constantly in motion. Our thoughts, emotions and even physical matter are vibrational. By understanding and mastering our vibrations, we can influence our experiences. Positive thoughts and feelings vibrate at a higher frequency, attracting similar energies, while negative ones vibrate lower, attracting negativity. This principle encourages us to raise our vibrations through positive thinking, gratitude and love, thereby attracting more positivity. Hermeticism suggests that everything we perceive as solid matter is just condensed energy vibrating at a shallow frequency. Think about a blurry photograph. When you zoom in, 
the blur resolves into distinct details. Similarly, the universe is a swirling sea of energy at the most fundamental level, with different frequencies creating the illusion of solidity and form. This law of vibration also introduces the concept of resonance. This refers to the tendency of vibrating objects to influence each other when their frequencies are aligned. Imagine two tuning forks set to the same frequency. When you strike one, the other vibrates sympathetically. In the same way, our thoughts and emotions can resonate with the frequencies of the universe, attracting experiences and opportunities that match our vibration. The principle of vibration offers a fascinating perspective on the universe and our place within it. It reminds us that we are not just physical beings, but energetic beings, vibrating at specific frequencies. By understanding and harnessing the power of vibration, we can create a more positive, fulfilling and resonant life experience. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember it's not just a collection of stars and planets, it's a grand symphony of vibrations waiting to be explored. Here is a word of caution. The principle of vibration is a potent tool, but it's not a magic bullet. It takes time, effort and consistent practice to master your vibration and align it with your desires. Don't get discouraged if you don't see immediate results. The key is persistence, staying positive and trusting in the process. The fourth principle is the law of polarity, which states everything is dual, everything has poles, everything has its pair of opposites. The principle of polarity is a fascinating concept that unveils the duality inherent in everything. It suggests that existence isn't a series of isolated opposites, but a spectrum where everything is interconnected and interdependent. Think of it as a universal dance between opposing forces, like light and dark, hot and cold, love and hate. These opposites are different degrees of the same thing. For instance, hot and cold are both temperatures, but at different extremes. The key distinction here is that these opposites aren't isolated entities. They are two ends of the same coin. You can't have light without darkness, expansion without contraction, joy without sorrow. They define each other and are necessary for the whole. It further states that there are different degrees of the same thing, this suggests that seemingly opposing forces manifest the same underlying principle differently. For example, heat and cold aren't fundamentally different things. They're just various degrees of thermal energy. This concept suggests that opposites can touch and even transform into each other. Think of a dimmer switch. As you turn it down, brightness gives way to darkness but there's a point where they seem to merge into one, a dim glow. This principle helps us understand the balance and necessity of opposites in our lives. We can find the silver lining in challenging circumstances by recognizing that every negative situation has a positive counterpart. It teaches us to embrace the contrasts and to understand that one cannot exist without the other. This understanding can lead to greater acceptance and harmony in our lives. The key here isn't to shun negativity altogether, but to understand that it's part of the universal order to keep things balanced. When you experience a negative emotion, acknowledge it and consciously shift your focus to its positive counterpart. This practice strengthens your ability to navigate life's inevitable ups and downs. The fifth hermetic law is the law of rhythm, which proclaims everything flows out and in, everything has its tides, all things rise and fall. Have you ever felt like life throws you curveballs just when you think you've figured it out? Well, the principle of rhythm explains why. It states that everything in the universe has a natural rhythm, a flow of expansion and contraction like the tides or the seasons. This principle highlights the cyclical nature of life and the universe. Just as the ocean has its tides, so do our lives, their ups and downs, their seasons of growth 
and periods of rest. Everything in the universe moves in cycles. There's a constant ebb and flow, a back and forth movement that creates a natural rhythm. We see this rhythm in the changing seasons, the rise and fall of empires, the phases of the moon, and even our breathing. This principle is closely linked to the concept of polarity, the fourth hermetic principle. Opposing forces like day and night, expansion and contraction are not isolated states, but part of a continuous cycle. The principle of rhythm reminds us that these polarities are not fixed points, but somewhat different expressions of the same underlying energy. Just as the universe operates in cycles, so do our lives. We experience periods of high energy and motivation, followed by times of rest and reflection. We face challenges and setbacks, but also moments of joy and accomplishment. The key to harnessing rhythm's power is learning to flow with it. The principle of rhythm can be applied to the process of manifestation. Just like the natural world, our desires unfold in cycles. There will be periods of focused action followed by seemingly no progress. This doesn't mean your manifestation isn't happening. It's simply a different phase in the cycle. During these quieter periods, trust that things are working behind the scenes. Use this time to refine your intentions, cultivate positive emotions, and stay connected to your desires. When the time is right, the universe will present opportunities to move forward. By understanding this law, we can better navigate the ebb and flow of life, knowing that tough times are temporary and good times will return. This principle teaches us to embrace life's natural rhythms and cycles, be patient during low periods and make the most of the high periods. It encourages us to stay balanced and to find peace in the understanding that change is a constant and natural part of life. The sixth principle, the law of cause and effect asserts, every cause has its effect, every effect has its cause. This is a powerful concept that resonates across cultures and philosophies. It goes by many names, karma in Hinduism and Buddhism, the law of sow and reap, or simply what goes around comes around. At its core, this principle emphasizes our actions, interconnectedness and consequences. There is a ripple effect to our choices, both positive and negative. Through our thoughts, words and deeds, the seeds we sow today eventually blossom into the fruits of our tomorrow. This doesn't mean every good deed will be immediately rewarded or every lousy deed will be instantly punished. The cause and effect cycle can play out over time, with consequences accumulating and eventually manifesting in our lives. This principle encourages us to take responsibility for our actions, thoughts and emotions. Knowing will create corresponding effects. By being mindful of the causes we set into motion, we can shape our destiny and create the desired outcomes. This understanding empowers us to be deliberate in our actions, fostering a sense of accountability and purpose. The principle of cause and effect extends beyond the individual. Our actions can ripple effect, impacting us and those around us. When we cultivate a positive and responsible mindset, it inspires others to do the same. Conversely, negative choices can create a domino effect of negativity. The seventh and final hermetic law is the law of gender, which states, gender is in everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. This principle is not merely about biological sex, but the masculine and feminine energies within all things. These energies are complementary and necessary for creation and manifestation. Masculine energy is often associated with action, assertion, logic, decisiveness, and outward expression. Imagine qualities like a strong will, goal-oriented drive, and analytical thinking. On the other hand, female energy is often associated with intuition, creativity, nurturing, compassion, and inward reflection. Imagine empathy, emotional intelligence, and the ability to go with the flow. 
This principle teaches us to balance these energies within ourselves to achieve harmony and wholeness. By embracing both aspects of nature, we can become more complete and adequate in our endeavors. This principle encourages us to honor and integrate the masculine and feminine within us, recognizing their equal importance in the creative process. The journey through the Hermetic Laws has been a whirlwind of wonder, hasn't it? We've explored the power of our thoughts, the interconnectedness of the universe, and the fascinating dance of masculine and feminine energies. By integrating these principles into our lives, we can gain deeper insights, achieve greater balance, and manifest our desires more effectively. As you reflect on these laws, consider how they can transform your perspective and empower you to live a more intentional and fulfilled life. The wisdom of Hermeticism invites us to look beyond the surface and discover the hidden truths that shape our existence. Don't forget to comment below and let us know your thoughts on the Hermetic Laws. What resonated most with you and what questions do you have? We'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more content like this and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload.